What's going on, Sneaker Fam? It's your boy Jake back. Uh, finally with another real and fake review, man. I know I promised this guy to you when I was on my live, and uh, it never happened, man. <laughs> Y'all know what it is, man. Your boy was just tired, man. Couldn't get it done. So I had it all set up, even last night, and I attempted to record, and I just couldn't do it, man. I just flopped out and went to bed, man. But nevertheless, man, here it goes, man. Trophy Room 1's Part 3. Looking at this now, the box looks just like the one I did last time, but hopefully the shoes might be a little bit different. So without further ado, let's get it going. So even from here, from the front, you guys probably won't see it here with the uh, with the um, with the lighting, but uh, this front here is still darker than this. It's still a lighter shade, slight improvement from before, but uh, of course this is the legit pair. This is the legit pair. the fake pair uh, beat up box you guys see it uh, no stamp no nothing I don't remember how the other one was the papers are different lighter paper here paper here but thin it's multiple sheets so this has this like yellow yellowish type film probably aged over time and then there's another paper in here all right I'm gonna take the shoes out and then I'll just show the box. All right. I don't think it matters how many iterations these guys try to make of this shoe. Once you compare it to the retail, it's just not, it's not happening. That blue laces, those are replicated laces. Those aren't legit. So, I'm just gonna go do this here. Move a little bit quicker. These things feel a little bit heavy. So there's no ticket in here, no multiple papers. We're just gonna take a quick look at the font. Fake pair, take a real good look. price buck 70 there's two that came with the price tag and without the price tag you can clearly see the difference between them in the fonts and everything this is the retail pair there's no sticker or anything under there still if i turn that ring light off that two completely shades, two completely different color differences on there. So um, there's no way, really no way, you know, people should be saying that, you know, you know, legit checking purposes and stuff like that. No way a shoe like this should get past a legit check by anyone, anyone. That thing's gonna end up falling. All right. All right, let's see if this thing's improved. Let's see if they've improved. Uh, all right. So, that's the fake pair. Let me move this over a little bit. Wasn't looking at the camera. This thing's gonna fall. You give you that stare off, that stare off, that stare down between the two. I'll move this back a little bit. Let me move this back a little bit. Stare down. Let's take a look. Just by looking, looking at them already. Now remember, if this is an on foot type thing, no one's gonna care. It actually looks pretty good. But for legit checking purposes, on foot, listen, I think they got it. You know what I mean? But legit checking, no one's going to tell this is a darker, richer shade of red than this. You know what I mean? No one's going to see that. No one's going to look inside and see how the stitching, the embroidery is, is with the rumor has it or anything like that. So I'm going to look at the back. 
can see this is the retail pair this is the fake pair you see that point up top this is nice and smooth it goes round typical with the fakes maybe a slight shorter you got the lean test You got the hourglass, more of an hourglass. They made this much, it's much better than the last one I had. I definitely give them that. They've done a better job. Well, with my ring light, you can't see uh, the midsole pattern. But unfortunately, my battery's dying. And retail's at the bottom, fake is at top. A lot more yellower on the uh, on the fake pair. This is interesting. Uh, shout out to Sneaker Lover 83. Uh, he provided me with his shoe. Um, of course, he didn't include the shoe tree or anything, so I can't compare the shoe tree. It did not come with blue laces. Also, what else? Um, I think that's it. It and no and no ticket, so I can't compare the ticket. So I'm gonna um, compare to these other things here. I'm gonna get the both left shoes here. Um, we're going to take a look at the lace bags and the wings logo and all that kind of stuff. So, lace, I might have to weigh them. I, I, lace bag on the fake pair. Seems like it's yellowing a little bit. Take a look at the red differences. Two completely different shades of red. Um... The wrapping looks the same, the way they're wrapped. Take a look at the white laces. Eh, yeah, they look like they're wrapped the same. And the lace bags look, the lace bags on a legit pair slightly, slightly shorter. All right, so let's take a look at the inside. The rumor has it. This is the fake pair. Rumor has it. Let's see how clean it is. Yeah, it's clean. Yeah, yeah, that's a whole lot cleaner on the retail or the resale pair, the backdoor pair. And of course, this is 9,659 out of 12K. And of course, on this one, it's 6 of 12K. Yeah. <laughs> right right um i don't remember seeing if i could pull out the insole on this thing i don't think i could so i don't think i will i'm gonna try it anyway uh, yeah i'm not gonna do it yeah i can't pull out the insole oh let, let's take a look at the wings logo Wings logo, the Michael Jordan signature. Look at that medial side. Look how clean everything is. And then the placement. I mean, they did a good job. Really, they did a good job. I mean, it's, I guess with that icy stuff, I guess something happened here. This is the fake pair. You know what I mean? Just taking a good look at it. I mean, it suffice. It suffice if it's just, you know, if, if that's your substitute and you don't want to pay, you know, those crazy prices. Um, this is this is fair enough. I, I would not lie. That's It's good enough. I mean, the toe is a little bulkier, typical stuff, but I mean, it's actually a pretty good pair. I thought it was going to be the same as the other pair, but it's actually not. I don't really have to go too deep into this. I mean, it's the, the jump man placement, the stitching, the, you know, the ankle collar, how the materials are, different shades. It's, you know what I mean? It's not rocket science when it comes to these things. Like I said, you don't have to get like a, a molecular scientist to check the molecular composition of the materials and all that kind of stuff. You know what I mean? It's Some of that stuff is insane. It doesn't take all that. You know what I mean? It doesn't. So, you know, there's particular people that do that, you know, not to the molecular level, but I appreciate Rose Anfield, uh for doing what he does does an excellent job i'm gonna black light these bad boys um it's six in the morning six and some change and you know as soon as i'm up done uploading this i have to get ready for work so uh it's friday morning happy friday everybody
So this is the retail pair. And by yeah, you always know that the, the tongues are different. The padding and stuff on these tongues are different. Yeah, it's too, it's too much padding in here. This trophy room is actually pretty good. There, that no lie. It's a pretty good trophy room. Even that leather, look at that leather there. It's pretty good. Still a, little, still a little on the flimsy side because of the uh, the scale. It's a little bit, still a little bit bigger, like in height and stuff like that, scaling. This still feels more solid. You know what I mean? So it's a possibility that it feel a little loosey-goosey on your feet, depending on your feet. And I have a wide foot and it still feels loose. So this would be a more solid feel. This feels a bit heavier, actually. But I, I'm, I'm going to weigh them. Like this one feels heavier and this one feels lighter and then you know these are both retail pairs it's a solid shoe definitely just a solid build i think that's the real difference is the build on these things and so that's why i always make my argument of you know they're they're not the same they are not the same. Oh, trust me, a little weight scale here. And to say that they were made in the same factory, I just say it takes away, gives, takes away full credit from these replicators, these counterfeiters, these replicators. These guys do an excellent job trying to replicate these shoes. And to, and to take that away from them, uh, just to make you feel good about yourselves, about them being in the made, made in the same factory and stuff like that is just a shame. These cats did an excellent job replicating the shoe that never existed before. So that's pretty cool. All right. You know, they had nothing to go by with this icy stuff. And it took them a lot of tries, but they're actually still pretty good. So left shoe with the shoe tree with the laces, uh, one pound, three ounces. Let's do it again. One pound, 2.9, same thing. This is with no shoe tree. Um, I forgot to do this. So this this is the fake pair. It did feel a little loosey goosey. I can't believe I almost forgot that. So let's go with this one. Ah. Ah. So there we go. It's the build material. Once again, not the same. Uh, while I'm at it, we look inside. We see that inside. And we'll take a look inside of this one. Boom, boom. And then we'll take a look at the production dates. Yeah, you can you get, look at that. This reminds, this is the vibes of uh, Rebellion Air vibes right here. I read off the production dates to you guys. Uh, this is the fake pair. So we got 4120 to 72920. And then uh I'll weigh it. One pound, 1.7 ounces. Uh let me put a shoe tree in here and see if it helps. <laughs> one pound 2.8 ounces just by shoot, putting a shoe tree in here so that's weird that's how much the shoe tree makes a difference one pound 0.9 ounces that's super super light and then we got what the hell is going on here one pound 1.2 ounces oh that's we got the lace bag ah oh, that's right that's right that's right these are super light. One pound. 0 0.4 ounces. And this one without the shoe tree. One pound, 0 0.8 ounces. That's wow. 
it's funny how these these shoes are made, man. It's it's wild, man. So um, I'm gonna read this uh, production date off as a uh, got a little bit off track. Uh, the legit pair is four one twenty seven twenty nine twenty. All right, that's about it, man. Uh, credit to these replicators, third party, factory, uh, excellent job. Um, but it's typical, you know, the way it's built, uh, materials and stuff like that, um, completely different, um, softer outsole, you know, you know, typical things that go wrong, uh, that are different between the two shoes. So, uh, it is what it is, man. That's why they call them replicas. That's why they call them counterfeit this and that, because it's never going to be exactly the same, but it is a great, uh, substitute if you don't want to spend 2k, um, like I did on this, <laughs> uh, but if I didn't do this, you guys wouldn't get, get a comparison. This is a part three. Uh, thanks for watching, sticking with me uh, till the end. Uh, like, comment, share, subscribe. Uh, thanks to everyone that was on my live. Thanks to everybody that donated. Uh, if you appreciate what I did on this video, man, uh, don't hesitate to hit the uh, super thanks and make a comment, man. I appreciate y'all. It's your boy Jake signing out. Happy Friday. Another video coming soon. Peace.